Hey guys, my name is Pega39, and today I'm going to show you a Roblox scripting tutorial. Okay, if you see my basic scripting tutorials, this will be your new tutorial. If you have not seen those, you probably want to check those out if you're new to scripting. Okay, so this is not what I want. Alright, so what we have here is Notepad++. Now this actually recognizes Lua, so if you want to script in here, click Language, find L, and click Lua. Yeah, you can download this on Google for free. So just go to Google and type Notepad++, and then you should find it. And this is what we're going to do. So what the script does is I'm just going to explain it. While true do is a loop, so it makes the, everything that happens here keep going. Then wait uh, has a wait to the loop because if you do not have a wait, it will just completely crash and burn, and uh, your computer will probably explode. <laughs> it won't explode, but it uh, Roblox will crash on you, and that's not good. You do not want that. Now, what this does, this is an if. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, so I'll just introduce this. If basically finds a value in workspace. So it says if game dot workspace dot value dot value. I have two equal signs here. You need to have two equal signs and an if true then game dot workspace dot player dot humanoid dot health equals game dot workspace dot player dot humanoid dot health plus one so what this does is it's changing this to this okay and the only reason it says the same thing and then the plus one is that it finds this value and adds it to one and then it says else if you know this is false then it does finds this and changes it to this and minus is one every point zero one seconds then it ends the if and then it ends the while true do so if that's a little confusing you might want to you know actually rewind and listen to that a few times so I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to actually put in the value here see we have the value and it doesn't exist in the workspace so I'm gonna click insert object it actually is bool value B O O L. I don't know if that's right, but uh, I don't know if that's pronounced right. But basically, it's false right now. I want to make it true, so it doesn't kill me. <laughs> and then we'll uh, go insert a script, and we'll paste it in here. I do not want to print "Hello World." Okay, so now we're gonna cut and paste the script. So now it's running. See, it says "running script." Okay, so now, as you can see, this is my health bar, so you'll want to look at that. Now, if I change the value to false, you can see my health is going down really fast, and eventually I do die. So that's pretty cool. That's what the script does. And uh, it keeps going down even when I respond. And if I hit plus, it's going up really fast. Okay, so if you want to look at the script, here it is. And uh, it is in the description, so if you just want to look at the script there click that you can actually copy and paste it but it's not recommended because you need to learn how to script not cheat off of scripts right trust me it's a lot better to learn how to script than to just copy and paste scripts it's the same factor when it comes to give a man you know give a boy a fish for one day you know give a boy a fish he has food for one day and then uh, teach a man to fish he has fish for life you know food for life <laughs> it's the same factor when it's uh you know, give a man a fish and they have food for a day. Teach a man to fish, they have food for their life. It's pretty much, that, you know, it's that same factor. So, there you go. That's uh, how to do that. And there's a lot of other things you can do with this thing. You could, uh, plus 10 instead of 1. You know, change that and cut and paste it. So now, we gotta do real fast. It almost kills you. Yeah, it wasn't fast enough. <laughs> and then, uh, when you respawn, it almost kills you. There you go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, that's a pretty easy script for uh, beginners. It's not easy, so sorry if I offend you. <laughs> There's a lot of other stuff you can do with this, but there's your basic script. If you want to mess around, and instead of doing, you know, you, you could do your friend. So if he comes in the game, it'll do this to him. But to do that, what you need 
is another if command. If, oh, I'm sorry, you do local friend equals game dot workspace dot friend name. No, it's not a game dot workspace hyphen, not hyphen, uh, colon find first child friend name. You need to have the friend's name in there. And then if friend and was it like this? I think it was a if friend find first child friend's name is equal is not equal not equal to nil, then I have an end to cut that one off. And instead of friend's name, we'll do player. Then you put your friend's name in there instead of player. And we'll, uh, we don't have to save that. We'll just copy and paste it. So I think what we'll do instead of having player is we'll, real na we'll rename it to uh, pet yo. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's <laughs> not want to do that. Player pet yo. Alright, so this should work. Now we're going to paste the script. And cut and remove the script. Now it's running. So as you can see, there's no pet yo in workspace. So it doesn't break. Now when we there actually is, it will... Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to rename this to pet yo. Oh, uh, it doesn't let you change the player's name. Crap. Okay, I'll have to do this then. We'll make it archivable. Pause time. Copy. Paste. There I am. I'll rename it to Petyo39. Or Petyo. There you go. It's minusing his health. See that? Let's see if you, uh, he responds. Apparently will not die for some reason. Oh, it's uh Okay, what we want to do is want to remove this pet yo and do this one, name him pet yo. And then he'll die. <laughs> Simple as that. Sorry for that confusion there. But basically uh I was I was thinking that my script broke even though other ones did, so I th I was confused. So that script works too. That's also in the description. And uh pet yo kills him. And if you change the value to true, it will heal him instead of kill him. Uh, what you can do to change the value is if you have a command bar, you can do game dot workspace dot value equals true. That's true. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, value dot value equals true. And then false. It's killing him. True. It's healing him. And uh, to change this in game without the command bar, I think what you could do is uh make a tool to do that or something. I'll show you how to do that in my next tutorial. How about that? Because we're running out of time here. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped out. And uh, good luck. Have fun scripting.